everyone. So today, we're going to be testing the SeaTac with a bit of a twist. As you see up here, I have an app running called Smokey. So I want to see if when that system is set off, this is supposed to email me to let me know that the fire alarm's gone off or the smoke alarm, but because this beeps, we're hoping to get an activation. So, we're going to stick into test first. Sorry now, it's a bit tedious, isn't it? Just do that. Right, so we did get something there. Test succeeded. Congratulations, Smokey has recognized and responded to your smoke alarm. It would be great if you could write the Smokey app later. Done. So now, I'm going to go check my emails to make sure that works. It's actually set up properly. So now we're just going to do it normally and hope that it actually sends an email to me this time. So, without further ado, let's test this system. Two, one. There we go. Fire alarm is going off. Make sure that we do get that email. There we go. Now, that did actually send me the email I just checked there. So now we have to reset this again. 8.35. There you go. Now, it's time to reset the system and we'll take a look at that. Well, there you have it. Right here. Sorry, wrong one. Smoke detector siren activated. The clever loop, Smokey, has heard your smoke detector siren go off. Please check your property and see why it's going off. Now, the reason that that works was because it was left up beside the panel. So here's that high pierced chirp. Now, I am very happy with that now, because that means the old phone I was using, which is an S2, can actually just sit on top of the panel or sit somewhere upstairs, and it'll recognize that, and it will send me an email and let me know that the fire alarm has gone off. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.